right, we're back. It's Nemo Tanner joined by Switch, and we're bringing you the lower bracket match here in the Winter Series 2016 between uh, Valbara and the Syndicate. And I want to say so far, the Syndicate is up three games to two. We're in game six, and the noteworthy, noteworthy thing this game is that it's king of the map. And I just want to point out that King of the Map is uh, the brainchild of GKG. So I think perhaps leaning Volbara this game. What do you say, Switch? Yeah, this was an interesting pick by Paris. I mean, the Barons is typically played as a last man on the hill uh, variant. So choosing to pick King of the Map for this, uh, you know, risky, risky pick. I've played King of the Map on... Uh, I think in in its early uh, implementation, I played King of the Map on a on a map that was a lot like the Barons. We were playing free for all, and it was very chaotic, very chaotic. But then again, there was it was a free for all, so there was like six teams. Um, that said, you know it's a pretty large map. It's, there's a lot of space between these flags. Yeah, I feel this is a better pick anyway for getting uh, the feel for the map. Uh, instead of everybody just rushing mid, uh, you're going to expect them to spread out, go for the tags. But, you know, as we saw with the last game, who knows what the strategies are going to be here. I have no idea. I'm not even sure if uh, Paris strategized for this at all. I think maybe he might just uh, default to, like, a BC trade. What do you think about the trades here? Well, again, you know, we see that uh, Valbara deciding that Warlocks are useless on a map with Fetch. And uh, we see a couple of Warlocks here for uh, for the Syndicate. Yeah, notice again, GKG taking fewer whites than the Syndicate. Syndicate really hoping to put those whites into the water or something. That's true. Only four goals for Valbara. And uh looks like, what, 11 for the Syndicate? So... And eight of those are going to be Puskals. Kind of interesting. I'll also yeah, I... note that there's going to be a lot more malls for Valbara, it looks like. Looks like a 12 for the Syndicate and uh, 21 for Valbara. So I... I kind of want to give Valbara an edge on that alone, just because malls are so tough, and they're great at zoning the flags. You know, versus yeah, I'm fetch, with you, I'm with you so on this great, one. But you know, the fetch are slow, and they can only be in so many places. You know, I think uh, malls are going to be great on on this map. You know, because malls are slow, but they but once they reach a flag, you know, they don't have to go very far just sort of stick around and and you can rack up time they're hard to take out yeah it looks like uh paris went for a slightly more balanced trade a little more balanced strat whereas yeah, gkg is definitely flag going with captured. some kind of juggernaut flag maneuver captured. south here flag he's captured. doing something uh, like i said i think paris is doing like a standard almost like a bc bc trade not bc but you know what i mean like your standard three prong you know uh, last man on the hill kind of kind of trade and uh, I feel like uh, GKG has he I think he understands something about this game type that uh, nobody else does at least evidence here yeah it's very interesting he's he's got a, a faint flag, going in the north him and limp flag, are just going in for a quick tag here but the, the flag, whole basically the whole army is going south yeah interesting that's uh they might be trying to get some some uh, you know some some quick uh, kills flag on the board captured. and uh, in anticipation for the late game. Flag we'll see. captured. 
Note in the Flag. northwest, you've got Demolition and GKG Flag. are going to like duke it out here. Uh, Demolition's going to try to stall, but uh, Limp is running in with a re reinforcement berserk, so that flag is going to go to Valbara. Yeah, Demo is uh, doomed if he sticks around, uh, so he's going to peel off the flag. Although, I don't know flag if it captured. would be worth it to try to st you know, stall as long as you can just for time. On the other you hand, notice, uh, the, yeah, yeah, go ahead. the exact same thing just happened in the south. Akira got pushed off by HMP. Flag Interesting. Captured. Yeah, that's. I think that's going to give uh, Valbara the lead. Yeah. Flag. Captured. About a two-minute lead so far. They definitely have more uh, more time on the flags. Yeah, I don't think. Mm -hmm. you know, here's the thing: is uh, Syndicate is they have they got some kind of juggernaut mid, but it, it's not on any flags. Yeah, GKG way up seven flags to three. You know, so up I, in percentages as well. Captured. I think he's just got a better strategy for a better opening strategy anyway. Flag contested. And also I I prefer I Flag kind of favor captured. his trade. He's uh, he's getting in it here with Adrenaline and Rar though. They're they're gonna have a little battle bit with his fetch. Looks like Asmodian and uh, Kruniak fighting with their fetch. Flag contested. Yep. Yeah it looks like the fetch Flag have found each captured. other and they're just gonna, you know, maybe duke it Flag out. We'll see. Captured. Uh, Paris with the lone Flag solace, contested. he might be taken out here if he can't find a uh, a spot on some impassable terrain. But there's not much that a solace can do, even if he's on impassable terrain. Um, that south flag is going to fall to uh, Kira. He's going to take it back. True. Uh, Kira is going to grab that south uh, southeast flag. Right. And Paris is able to avoid Flag certain death captured. with that Solis, but he's nowhere near a flag, so he's flag almost useless down there. Flag Check out uh, Limp's Soul Berserk on the Northwest flag, stuck in some water or something. Hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, he's figuring it out. I'm not sure what he's doing out there. He's trying to go on the impassable terrain, I think. Uh, meanwhile, captured. Evil Jake's been uh, zeroed in on here by Kron. Flag captured. Not sure if he's gonna Flag. get out of that or what. And actually, some Flag damage here on uh, Kuniak from uh, Adrenaline. Although he's gonna get healed up by that that hero. Flag captured. Yeah. Meanwhile, Limp is chasing. Argos up uh, northwest. I feel like Adrenaline could have pushed there and maybe taken out those fetch. I'm not sure why he didn't. If they were better coordinated, I think uh, I think he could have come Flag out ahead there. Captured. Looks like Cron uh, One just pussed himself, and Evil Jake is going to clean up his units. He's now moving on the flag um, mid north. Flag captured. Where? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just. He's got basically uh, the one goal. I'm not sure where his units went. But uh, looking at the time, though, the time, 10 Flag minutes about. Contested. And they're up about 10%. Flag captured. So uh, Valbara is actually in the lead, and they're, uh, they're going to be cleaning up some units here. Syndicate doing some good damage. They just uh, took out one of uh, Kuniak's fetch, gets one of Asmodian's fetch. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Rar's, uh, Rar's doing work, although he is going to be collapsed on here by HMP. HMP is going to do oh, man, take HMP. out one. He's going to take out two. He might get three. Is he going to get three? It's going to turn the tables here. Osmodian's going to try to do what he can. Actually, it's going to be tied up in terms of fetch. So that was kind of a good move there by HMP and keeping uh, keeping that that uh, that from going south. And actually, Paris is uh, able to snipe yep. on a Kuniak's fetch, yeah. That's right. So, in terms of BC, it's pretty close. 50%, 47%. But, in terms of time, that's another thing entirely. It's about a 12-minute differential. Flags are tied at this point, but uh, see how much time is remaining. Um, almost six minutes, so... I think, uh, I think in order to stay in this game, I think Syndicate's got to make some moves pretty soon. They're moving yeah, they're, on this they're flag, but... Yeah, they're just stuck behind from that initial like, tag by Valbera. was able to get up 10, 10 minutes on those time points, and they've just been hanging on to that. Actually, uh, 
Okay. Syndicate's in a pretty bad spot here. I think Adrenaline came in a little too aggressively, he loses a fetch, and these uh, malls are soaking up the damage. There's nothing here backing right. these fetch up. Oh, actually one of them gets taken out there by RAR. Yeah, RAR might, might yeah. just get all of them here. Oh, yeah. You might get another one. Flag captured. There he goes, there's one more, and actually the uh, the last one goes Flag down to Paris' uh, Mercuria. So actually, um, I feel that Syndicate came Flag out ahead there, 34-32%. In terms of BC, captured. they're up, Flag but contested. just so. Flag. Actually, they're gonna this is lose. now tagging. Flag they're going to lose this flag, Flag. but only captured. momentarily as they move in. Flag Akira, Akira has one kill on his Warlock, Flag. actually. Uh-oh, this isn't Flag. looking good for Adrenaline. He's going to have to be Flag. careful here. Oh, nice move there. He's actually able to, to uh, heal that Mercuria and uh, freeze it in place momentarily for his fetch to, to escape unharmed. Yeah, nice play, nice play. Actually, that was a next level play. 27, 22%, 26, 22%. And actually, Syndicate are down in flags once again. So I think, although they're up in BC, they're running out of time. Only four minutes remain, and they're about 13 minutes behind. Flag. You'll note that uh, Limp says in the chat that he's just, he's playing the tag game, focusing on that. It's definitely paying off. Flag it certainly is, as he grabs another flag. flag. Captured. Two flags, in fact. Flag captured. Adrenaline's going to grab one flag in return. And uh, Paris is going to be trying to move in on this other flag, but HMP is going to be there. So at this point, I th think that Syndicate need flag to split up, contested. and I'm just not sure that's down flag captured. 22, 20%. So it's going to be hard for them to split up and win. GKG flag is moving contested. entirely on the south flags now. He's flag just tagging them like crazy. He's going to get another one. Flag captured. Yeah, and Paris actually flag might lose that contested. Solus in exchange for uh, tagging that flag. He's trying to get as much time as he can, but it's just not working out. 20, 22%. Yeah, I mean, if the Syndicate were up, flag captured. were, if they had flag even contested. more, if they flag even had a captured. higher percentage than they do, then flag I think contested. that um, they'd be in a better position to win here, but the, they keep losing units, and now it's a tie game. Yeah, they've got a lot of stats. Like, look at the Akira. He's got that Warlock plus about three malls moving on that southern flag, trying to recapture those. But they're they're definitely, uh, the initiative is with Valbera here. I mean, the, the Syndicate, even though they won that BC fight, they're just being forced to chase around these yeah. flag taggers. While they were semi-winning that BC fight, they were busy losing flag almost captured. everywhere else. Flag and uh, so, flag you know, while they captured. may have came out ahead there, Flag they find themselves captured. in the unenviable flag position contested. of having to retake almost every flag other flag captured. on the map. Flag captured. Yeah, Valbera well, has a, like a 20 minute lead. Huge here. lead, captured. huge lead, and uh, uh, at least double flags. Seven to three flags here, and they keep taking out individual units. They're doing really well at uh, preventing Syndicate from doing flag anything captured. with whatever unit advantage they have. Flag. Contested. Yeah, no. Paris is calling it in the chat. Oh, here we go. We have a duel here. Adrenaline's going to get cleaned up, I think. Flag. He tries to heal himself, but uh, it's not going to be Flag. enough. There's Contested. this huge GKG has like a Flag. seven kill Captured. Mercuria that just it it just interrupted Flag. almost everything Contested. that that Heron Hero was trying to do there. Yeah, let's, let's see if he can get this fetch. That. Get Adrenaline's fetch here. Oh yeah, it's totally gonna get that fetch. It's totally. Flag. I don't think Adrenaline stands a chance. He can get one more shot off. Nope, not even able to do that. Man, that is a killer Mercuria. I wonder what he vetted up on. It just kills so many things. Flag contested. I mean, I feel sorry for the Syndicate here. They're they're desperately trying to contest two flags. Once again, their, their fetch are not able to, to win them in the late game, win anything for them. That's a lot of unit trading points tied up and, and not a lot of, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're only able to go so quick, Flag. visit so many places. And, uh, check, a, check a Kira with this Warlock coming in here in the south. Man, Evil Jake trying to uh, 
flag. Trying to beat down you. Limp. He's uh, very close to dying. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Contested. Yeah, Kira's I mean, all the syndicate. Something happened. But... Yeah, he's he's doing what he can. But there's, I mean, this is it. You know, a, what thirty minute lead. <laughs> yeah, Evil Jake's being ran out of town. Uh, there isn't much he's going to be able to do. There's really nothing else. I think uh, Kira's Game the only. Over. He's basically all that's left for Syndicate, and that's going to be GG. Yeah, very interesting. I think uh, even though they lost that the fetch engagement, uh, Valvara just had superior the superior trade. Were able to, uh, you know, with the units that they had remaining, they were able to to keep that advantage well into the late game. Yeah, they they won the BC fight, uh, you know, by about twenty four damage points. So well done there. But just just well. The, you know. the BC fight they won as a result of the fact that they won the game type, which you can see they have, they've almost doubled uh, the time of the Syndicate. They have, uh, thir you know, 30 mi 31 minutes on them uh, at the end of the game. So I think, I think really the, you know, they weren't too concerned with losing that battle as long as they... As long as they held on to the flag advantage, like I said, it's a pretty large map, and it's you know when when all your units are uh, concentrated in one area, it's hard to know how to spread them out, you know, effectively from from that point. Do you think the um, the warlock trade was worth it for the syndicate? Absolutely not. I think uh, you know Akira has one kill, and that's eight unit trading points tied up in one unit that you know if it's not killing a million units uh it's less than worthless you know because you you need to have speedy units to take flags and yeah you know it can hold one flag with defense so it needs backup so it's at least eight unit trading points being uh committed onto one flag and that's that's really going to uh, hamper your your ability to play this game type. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Like I said, I mean, uh, Valbera seemed to have a real tight trade right at the beginning, um, and just they just dominated the flag game. Oh yeah, the other thing too was uh, they had the the intel, the map intel that the syndicate didn't. Check the uh, check the figures. I mean, uh, still still quite interesting. Like, you've got to feel if you're a adrenaline here, you got to be a little frustrated. Uh, you know, look at the damage. Oh he's sure, in. yeah, adrenaline and RAR actually did uh, very well. Um, they had the most damage in the game, sixty six and fifty nine respectively. Um, granted, they did have fetch, but uh, and you know they had uh, RAR for instance had a lot of losses, and adrenaline had a couple of preventable losses as well. But uh, I th I'd say they did fairly well. Um, but again, you know, they were part of that that you know that large you know mid-ish battle, and uh, you know, I f and you know, I feel like that, even though that was good for their team, you know, it didn't address the fact that they were unprepared for the flag game. You know, king of the map. Not just not just unprepared, but, but habitually behind. That's what really struck me here. Oh, absolutely. Because uh, yeah. I mean, the the Valvera they were up right from the get go. Uh, oh yeah. Don't just more tags and yeah, tagging, getting flags. Um, not just tagging flags, but taking them back when they were retaken by the opposing team. Um, I I will also note that Evil Jake had a spectacular game. Uh, he had the second highest kills. In the game at 14 and third highest uh, damage um, on his team with 46. Though uh, yeah. GKG had 49 damage, so edge very very nice, uh, very nice game by uh, Evil Jake again. Another yeah, another fine performance there by Evil Jake. But uh, you know, again, it wasn't enough. You know, Akira had a warlock, 10 damage. You know, three kills, seven losses. You know. Uh, like I said, I don't think the Warlocks were worth it here. 
I don't think uh, I don't think they lend themselves very well to King of the Map just because they need to be babysat, and that's a whole lot of unit trading points that are being tied up in one place. I'm I'm with you. Maybe as a defensive move, but uh, just they didn't they didn't provide enough uh, well, flag tagging ability. Here's the thing: if it's a defensive move, they, really it only works if you're ahead. You know, and you have to be ahead by a lot because uh, you know they're not going any place. You know, uh, if you're if you're sitting on a flag, then that's cool, but that means that you're not taking flags elsewhere. Yeah, I feel like the syndicate played right into GKG's hands here. He wanted to play that small scale tagging game with uh, his melee force, which he's very very good at, and the syndicate let him do it. I think he, I think too, he just had a better grasp of uh, of the game type than uh, Paris in terms of the unit trade um, and also the strategy coming in into this uh, this game. Um, and despite the fact that they lost that uh, that uh, kind of middle encounter, uh, the, despite that, they were able to outperform pretty much everywhere else and uh, and even take back the lead through, you know, as you say, the uh, the micro game at the end, the, the flag grab. Yeah, I think I think he had Limp and HMP really working uh, those flanks. And um, even though their numbers, I mean, they're, they're, they're not great. But yeah, they're, that, you know, they're modest, but, uh, yeah. but the numbers don't show the whole story. You know? Absolutely. Well, it's going to be a tied match so far. It's three games apiece. And that means we're going to have to have a tiebreaker. Desert Terries, anyone? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So uh, we'll see you in the next game, which is uh, game seven, the tiebreaker game.